This is a stimulus update and daily news report. Got some big updates to share with you. Three cities and states are giving up to $1,000 bonuses, $250 child tax credits going out to certain families. And with the Build Back Better fizzling, Democrats have a new plan of how to give more aid to the American people. I'll play a video clip from one Democrat. Then I'll give you the Republican perspective of what the Republicans plan on doing to help out the American people. Also, I'll give you some other important updates as well. Hope you're having a terrific Tuesday. If you appreciate the fact-based fast-based updates hit the like button down below and i'm picking the winners for the 200 dollars checks for my subscribers tomorrow so you still have some time if you haven't entered already details down in the description below if you want to win the 200 dollars let's get into it so with food prices climbing the un is warning of a crippling global of crippling global shortages so food shortages food prices are going up and shortages are on the rise in a lot of other smaller countries, it hasn't really hit the U.S. as hard yet, but it is getting worse. And then gas prices set records for two weeks straight as Biden struggles to reassure America. So it seems like no matter what is being done, gas prices are going up and up. It's getting higher and higher in my area, and I feel like I have one of the cheaper states, South Carolina. I can't even imagine how high it is in other states, more expensive ones. Take a look at what Republican Senator Cassidy has to say about fixing that problem. You have real concerns about the economy and especially U.S. energy. You have 10 ways that President Biden has killed U.S. energy. We could pull that up. You know, we talk about this a lot the first, on the first day, in the first hour, killing the Keystone Pipeline. But what other things could they do that could turn this around to deal with the fact that Americans have record high gas prices now 14 days in a row? First, just like on baby formula, they have to show they care. Now, you would care if you took tangible steps to lower the cost of energy. They say they're doing this, they're doing that, but it's always one step forward two steps back such as can't such as saying that they want to do more oil and gas leases and then actually not approving them at the last minute. correct are putting in um, a more and more stringent regulations which makes it impossible to happen mm -hmm. i've called for an operation warp speed for energy get them all in a room okay if you can't do it waiting for this person to make a decision while we're in the room so to speak you make the decision the second person does if there's an agency which seems to be slow walking Hold them accountable. This is important to lower the, car, the, the price of gasoline, the price of your heating and cooling bill. they got to show they care. Well, does Secretary Granholm at the Department of Energy, does she, have, have you talked to her? Does she care? You know, I think on one level they do, but they have an environmental left which is so powerful. I think the secretary personally does, mm -hmm. but they, they, their environmental left is kind of pleased that gasoline is $6 a gallon. They're kind of pleased that people are paying so much. They see this as, if you will, the necessary struggle we have to go through to get everybody to buy into renewables. How does that play in, though, to our competitiveness with China? Oh, my gosh. It increases the cost of production of goods here in China, excuse me, in the United States, which gives a company one more reason to move their manufacturing plants to China, where they use coal, which is cheap, and where they don't enforce their environmental regulations, and their labor standards are really low. One more reason for someone to think about moving to China. That's bad for us. All right, so you're here, and uh, you're going to be talking about this to groups and trying to get the message out on energy and the China piece. It's critical, and that's where the president is uh, in, in Asia today, hopefully talking about it as well. Yeah. Thanks for being here. Good to see you in person. Thank you. All right. What are your thoughts? Do you agree, disagree? So there was the Build Back Better, which was supposed to save all this stuff, save the economy again. That seemed to fizzle out. So fizzling le legislative agenda leaves Democrats wondering about midterms. So Democrats are are definitely in a lot of trouble when it comes to midterms. Seems that anything that the Democrats try to pass, it's not going through. Anything to help out the economy, it seems it's just not working. A lot of words being said, not a lot of action being taken. Now, one thing is going on, child tax credits. Uh, they tried to push this on a federal scale, not going on, but on a, on a state scale, it is. So child tax credit update, 300,000 Connecticut families will get $250 stimulus cash this summer. So it's just a one-time payment of $250 to any family in Connecticut with kids. But what about on a bigger scale? So House Democrat, Democratic Caucus Chair Hakeem Jeffries asked if the party needs a change of leadership. He said no. Uh, take a look at what Hakeem Jeffries and the Democrats plan to do to help out America. 
We're joined now by New York Congressman Hakeem Jeffries. He's the chairman of the House Democratic Caucus, and he is in San Diego, California this morning. Good morning to you, Congressman. Um, I want to get to you uh, on some of this uh, poll data that you also heard here. Specifically, young people, Hispanics, and half of black Americans say the president has been too slow to react. His ratings on effectiveness are low. Perceptions of competence are low. A majority of Democrats now say the economy is bad. How does your party hold on to the majority? Well, I'm very confident that we will be able to hold on to the majority. President Biden has done a very good job under incredibly difficult circumstances. I understand that the electorate, of course, is going to be unsettled, experiencing COVID fatigue, uh, inflationary pressures, high gas prices, a war uh, in Ukraine, a radical extreme Republican Party that doesn't appear to believe in democracy uh, any longer. And so this is a, a, a tough moment for our country. But President Biden has been very decisive in his leadership, beginning with the American Rescue Plan. We rescued the economy, put shots in arms, money in pockets, kids back mm -hmm. in school, laid the foundation for a robust economic recovery that has led to more than 8 million good paying jobs being created and unemployment at 3.6%. That's a tremendous start. Of course, there's more that needs to be done. Right, and, and you know, inflation, as you heard, is the chief concern, but specifically on looking like the president is reacting too slow and not taking action. Um, Talk to me about a specific issue, police reform, for example. Uh, it's been two years, it'll be two years this weekend, since the killing of George Floyd and the national protests that followed. The president has been uh, looking at an executive order on police reform for months now, continues to say it's coming. Does he need to act on something specific like that before November? Well, it's my hope and expectation that we will see uh, some further decisive action from the administration. It's unfortunate that we find ourselves in this position uh, because Senator Tim Scott decided to walk away from negotiations that were bipartisan in nature in terms of striking the right well, balance. It, Democrats between... walked away in the Senate on that one. But on the question of the, of the president, is the urgency on police reform fading? I think the president has said it correctly that we are going to lean into public safety, make sure we strengthen the relationship between the police and the community, that we confront uh, the rise in gun violence, and that we also invest in young people in violence interruption and making sure that young people have access to extracurricular programming, summer enrichment programs, summer jobs, and the things that allow for them to live a productive life. Uh, and not be put in a position mm -hmm. where they are influenced by destructive behavior around them. So for fellow Democrats who are up for election, this bit from our poll may stand out. More than a third of Democrats call their own party weak. And that is particularly acute among young people, 41 percent. That could hurt your turnout. How do you respond to that? Is, it, is there time for change here in terms of congressional leadership? No, I think, uh, led by Speaker Pelosi and Leader Schumer, uh, we've been acting decisively. Just this week, uh, we responded by passing legislation uh, to address the price gouging that we believe, particularly as it relates to the oil and gas industry, is taking place and hurting the American uh, consumer. We, of course, passed legislation to deal with the rise in domestic terrorism and white supremacy in this country. The president said that law wasn't needed. Unfortunately, every single... Uh, Republican, except for about one or two, voted against this in the immediate aftermath uh, of the tragic massacre in Buffalo. So we are acting decisively, uh, but I think we do have to crystallize the differences between what we're about and what Republicans are all about. It's clear that Washington Republicans want to raise taxes on everyday Americans, on police officers, on firefighters, on nurses, on factory workers, mm -hmm. on grocery store clerks. Uh, and we are trying to provide them with relief. The Republicans, including your prior guest, actually want to end Social Security and Medicare as we know it in five years, forcing it to sunset. Those are serious differences between the two parties. Mm -hmm. And I think once the voters understand that dynamic, the choice will be as clear as a sunny day in San Diego. <laughs> What are your thoughts? Do you agree, disagree with Hakeem Jeffries? So it looks like Democrats are in a lot of trouble. A lot of promises have been made. Can they be 
completed before the midterm elections? Or should the Republicans have a turn in Congress and being in control? Uh, let me know your thoughts on all of that. Next, stimulus. Three cities and states sending up to $1,000 bonuses. So Minnesota sending out stimulus checks to workers, uh, which is going to pay around $750 to workers in Minnesota. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, in August, Georgia, Georgia, uh, August, Georgia is paying frontline workers a bonus of $500 for full-time city employees, $250 for part-time employees. And then in Connecticut, they are going to pay frontline workers uh, between $200 and $1,000 each. And then part-time workers could see up to $500. So those are the three places that are paying workers bigger bonuses. And that is all the news that I have for you today to hopefully cheer you up a bit. Here's my daughter Bella's tip of the day. Oh, hi guys. Hi guys, this is Bella's tip of the day. I want to tell you the one thing you should do. Remember when you were a kid, you always used your imagination in your mind. To call, that's why it's called imagination. Imagining what you're thinking about. And remember that when you were a kid, you used your imagination for like anything. Like movies, you watch the movies, you imagine yourself with it. You may sometimes when you when you when you're watching cool movies, use your imagination to do the same thing if you want. And also, can I tell you something? I watched the movie, and, and now I'm all about it. And now I'm Ghostbuster. Like this this one, you shoot you shoot out you shoot at light, and it, and it and it makes the ghost disappear. And this one. You, you 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 tap it like this and and it makes you disappear like the ghost disappear so those, so that's all I wanted to tell you bye Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, I'm picking the winners for the $200 checks tomorrow, Wednesday. So if you still haven't signed up, you have some time details down in the description below. Hopefully you're having a great rest of your day. Uh, if you wanna check out any of my other videos on my other channels, you could click up here and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, be safe. Thank you for watching.